Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie and I'm back with another video and today, if you guys could not tell from the title of the video, I'm here with my K-pop playlist. So with that being said, key to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, I will be going through my K-pop playlist and showing you guys what K-pop songs that I like. And as I previously mentioned in my Jackie Wonga Q&A, y'all can check that out right here. I listen for music from country, K-pop, pop, hip-hop, rap, whatever. Whatever music I like, I like. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what genre it is. If it sounds good to my ears, I like it. So with that being said, that is why I decided to go through my K-pop playlist as I know K-pop is popping. Um, so I'm definitely not trying to use this for view or clickbait or whatever, but yeah. And also with that being said, I'm not going to be playing any of the songs because I don't want no copyright claims and stuff like that as I'm learning about that in class because I know the copyright situation will be a whole ordeal and I don't need this video to get claimed and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll just be listening to K-pop group, artists or whatever and then I'll be listening to song. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So I'm on my Apple Music and let me know down below if you are an Apple Music user or a Spotify user because me personally, I'm an Apple user. But with that being said, we're about to just go through my playlist and name every single artist that I have and K-pop song that I have, um, whether it is K-pop or K-R&B, um, it's just the Korean music that I have on my phone. So with that being said, we're going to start things off with BTBT by B.I. and Soulja Boy. Um, that song is just a bop, and I'm not going to lie, I'd be blasting that song in my car, and that song is just a bop. I really like that song, and yeah, definitely a good way to start this video. My next song is going to be Lost at Sea by B.I. as well, and this is just a chill song song as well and I'm gonna say this now my k-pop is also all over the place there's certain songs that I like and certain songs that I don't like um, and yeah it just when it comes to k-pop it's just like I don't know how I like the songs or not it's just I guess my taste with k-pop is unique I, it's like it's like if I like it I like it I don't know my, my music taste is weird I'm not gonna lie um, so yeah don't judge my music playlist but going down we got Baekhyun and yeah I'm sorry if I mispronounced people's names I don't mean to um, it's just I don't know how to say it and yeah yeah, please do not roast me or cancel me or whatever but yeah i have bacon next um i call him bacon because like i don't know it's my thing I, I just call him bacon but we have bacon i have two songs from him which are bambi and cry for love um i really like cry for love because of the high notes i'll be trying to sing the high notes and i think i'll be hitting them if you guys want to see me sing let me know down below um but I really like Cry For Love and then Bambi. I like Bambi because I'm not gonna lie, I think that's a, um, a dope song if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, though, both of them songs I really like. I think Baekhyun is a very good singer. Moving on, we have Beyond Love by Big Naughty. And yeah, this is a song that I found that I liked. And yeah, like I said, a lot of my songs I just be finding randomly. And I would have to give a quick shout out to my friend Maya as she has put me on with a lot of K-pop musics and groups and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, shout out to Maya. And yeah, I do be finding a lot of random songs just randomly like on YouTube or Apple Music and stuff like that. So yeah, that is why like my Korean K-pop, K-R&B playlist is all over the place. And also I forgot to mention this in the beginning. And yeah, I don't really have like a bias or like I don't really stand a specific specific group I just kind of like all groups that I like um, so if I like a group I like them or oh, it's just mainly honestly 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 it's if I like the song I like the group and the song um, it really comes down to the song at the end of the day so it's like if I like the song I like the person or the group that sings it if I don't like the song I'm like eh, don't really care for it the next song I have is the Steeler by the boys um, this is probably my favorite song from the boys because the boys is Maya's favorite group like I said Maya is one of my closest friends and she likes the boys and she tried to make me like them but this is the only song that I liked from the boys and moving on we have Missing You by B2B and yeah I found this song when I was watching Road to Kingdom or one of the Kingdom shows and they performed this song live and yeah ever since then I really liked that song and I've been playing the song because it's just like a chill song I really love the part where Peniel, Peniel, I don't definitely butch his name, but I love his rapping part. That was my favorite part of the song. And moving on, we have Permission to Dance by BTS. And yes, this is my favorite BTS song because I know a lot of people like Butter or 
Dynamite or whatever. But Permission to Dance is my favorite song by BTS. Because this is the one song that really makes me want to like get up and dance. Like, you know, I can't dance, but this song makes me want to dance. Um, so yeah, that's definitely my favorite song from BTS. And moving on, we're going to a group that I have a couple songs from. And it is going to be CIX. The reason why I have a couple songs from this group is because of Maya. Like I said, she's the person who puts me on with K-pop. And she went to a CIX concert in Atlanta. And she showed me some of the videos and songs. And I was just like, damn, some of these songs are bops. So I'm just gonna go through the list. I have Cinema, What You Want, Movie Star, The One, Maybe I, and Here For You. Those are the six songs that I like from CIX. And yeah, those are bops. So moving on to some KRNB. I have Dean. I have a couple songs from Dean. Um, and yeah, he's just a vibe for real. I have I'm Not Sorry. I have Instagram, What To Do, D, and then 21. Dean is just a vibe. He just be, I just be chilling and vibing to the songs. Like, like uh, I can't, I don't know how to put it into words, but he really is just a vibe. And also, before we move forward into this video, please do not roast me if I like saying any of these names wrong and stuff like that, because like I said, I don't know any better. I, I don't, I, I'm just here, honestly. I just like these songs, and if I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. Like I said, please don't cancel me or roast me or whatever. I don't really know, but I do like the songs. And next, I found this artist on Apple Music, and I feel like I'm going to pronounce his name wrong, but it is Dong Hei. And the two songs that I have from him are California Love and Blue Moon. And yeah, I found these songs before I was going on my family vacation, and I play these songs throughout like my whole vacation. I really like these songs. They just be chilling. Like, a lot of these songs that I really like, they're just vibes, and I just be chilling to them. So, like, I really like these songs because I guess they're just vibes. And moving on, I would definitely say the next group is probably one of the group that I like more than the others, and that is going to be in Hyphen. So the reason why I I would say I would like in hyphen a little more than the other groups is because I feel like all the songs I have I really really do enjoy them so like for example I have fever not for sale just a little bit and Paralord, Polaroid Love. I cannot. I, I'm definitely bad. I can't read. I'm so sorry. I really can't read. Um, but yeah, so my favorite song from in hyphen would definitely have to be just a little bit, and I would say probably Polaroid Love. Um, then Fever and then Not For Sale. Those, that's definitely the order of my favoriteness from and hyphen songs that I have. So moving on, this is definitely one of my favorite Korean songs that I have on my phone. And it is Then by Gaho and Dylan. I'm sorry if I butchered the names wrong, but this is definitely one of my favorite songs. I don't know what about the song, but it just kind of turns me on. I'm not going to lie. This song I found on Apple Music randomly in my Jackie Wong station. Like I really do just like this song. I really enjoy this song and I really just love that song. Next we're gonna have Dolly by Holland. Holly Lynn. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, it's just a bop. That song is just a bop. Next I have this classic banger and this is gonna be Icon Love Scenario. I, I love that song. It's just, it's, it's really a classic. This is definitely one of the first K-pop songs that I listened to back in whenever it came out, um, like in 2018, 2019, I don't know. But when I heard this song back in the day, I loved it. Like this was a K-pop song that I would listen to, but I would like make sure no one knew because I was embarrassed. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of the songs that got me into K-pop. Moving on, I know this isn't kind of K-pop, but I'm gonna include him since he is in the K-pop group. I'm talking about Jackson Wang. He's in GOT7, but I don't have no GOT7 songs, but I have his songs on my phone. I also have his group members, uh, Mark Twan, Mark T I'm definitely saying his name wrong, but I also have some of his songs too that I'll get to. But yeah, I don't have no GOT7 songs. But I thought I would just include these as well. Jackson Way is definitely one of my favorite artists that I have on my phone. And I would definitely say uh, that if I was to stand anyone, it would be him. Not just because we have similar names. Like I'm Jackie Wongers, he's Jackson Wang. Like we basically the same people. Um, but yeah, I really do like his voice, his raspiness. I really love Jackson Wang. So Jackson Wang, if you see this, I love you. But the three songs that I have for him, well, actually, I have four because he's featured on another song. I have Vibes, Bullet to the Heart, and Drive You Home. Bullet to the Heart was definitely one of the first songs that I found for him, and I was just like, I love that song. And a lot, I, don't, I feel like a lot of people don't really like that song, but I personally love that song. I found Vibes recently, and that, that song is really just the vibe. And yeah, Drive You Home, I found that from my friend Maya because she was like, oh, look, they play this at work. And then she filmed me, and I was like, I like that song. It's, 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 it's catchy. I like it. And then the last song is I Love You 3000. I know that really isn't his song, but he is featured in another version of that song. And yeah, I Love You 3000 with Jackson Wayne, in my opinion, is better than the original, but that might just be because I'm on Jackson Wayne's dick, but you know, it's not my business. Next, we have Junie, which is a K-R-N-B artist, 
and I have Distance. There was a couple other songs that I like from Juni, but I just never really saved to my phone. I probably just never found them again, or I just forgot. But yeah, I definitely would say I really like Juni because he's just cool. He seems like a cool dude, and he just seems like a vibe. And I'm sorry for this whole video. I'm just saying he's a vibe because it's the vibe. So next, I would definitely say this is my favorite Korean songs at the moment. It might be tied with another one, but this is... I love this song right now. It is Still Love You by Lee Hong Ji and Yu Hu So I, I, so I'm so sorry. I definitely butchered the names. But this song right here, this song right here, I'm telling you, this song right here, I love this song right now. I don't know what's about this song. I just love this song. I want to make love to this song. This song is just amazing. And like, bro, I don't know. Like, this song, I don't know why. I, like, if you guys know, you know. Like, <sighs> Still Love You is definitely one of my favorite songs. If not, Top is definitely top two or tied for top because this is another song by another group later like down my playlist But this is definitely one of the songs that I would say is at the top uh, So moving on to Jackson Wang's bandmate or groupmate uh, Mark Twan I have Lonely and Last Breath So one of the main reasons I really like Mark Twan is because my friend Maya has mentioned that he has some Taiwanese background and my mom is from Taiwan so yeah I don't know if his parents are from Taiwan or if he's from Taiwan whatever um, or he just been to Taiwan um, he has something to do with Taiwan so I really like him because of that moving on to another group um, I don't know if this is K-pop but it's Wavy I know like I don't know, Wavy is owned by like NCT, and I know NCT is a whole couple of, like, I, that, that's a composite, like, those are just so many groups, I don't, NCT, I don't really know, uh, but I have a couple of Wavy songs, and a couple of 10 songs, I have Miracle by Wavy, and then I have, um, 10's Paint Me Naked, and actually I actually have two more songs from Wavy, is Love Talk and Low Low, I would definitely say I like Wavy a lot, because they're one of the only groups that really like, I guess, sing in Chinese, or Chinese groups, um, that I know of personally, so I would definitely say Wavy, is definitely they at the top for me just because of Chinese and I you know I got some Chinese background I can speak Chinese you know what I mean no, so like <laughs> but moving on to NCT I have NCT 127 love song I really like that song and I have NCT dream life is still going on I really like that song and then I also have an NCT dream song with pretty much which is up to you so I would definitely say that's probably one of my favorite songs from NCT dream but even though it's like, you know, it's a collab and stuff like that, that song, like, Leave It Up To You, um, that song is just, that's, that song's just a bop. Um, so shout out to Pretty Much and NCT Dream. They did an amazing job. I just love that song. And moving on to another group that I'll consider at the top of my groups would definitely be Pentagon. So I love Pentagon. So I first heard Pentagon from Shine. So I would definitely say Shine is definitely one of their most popular songs. And then I would say after Shine, I kind of just slowly got into them. And I heard Humph. And then I like Humph. And I heard Thank You. Thank you by Pentagon. It's not by Pentagon, it's by Jin Ho and Hu Huey. And I would say that's one of my favorite Korean songs, like, or maybe even songs of all time, because the amount of times I played it, like, because of this one song alone, Pentagon was in my top three artists for my Apple Music replay. Because of this one song, I played so much. Like, I love this song. I love singing it. Even though I can't sing the Korean parts, I sing the English part. Like, I, I be hitting them notes, trust me. Like, I love this song. Thank You by Pentagon is definitely one of my favorite songs of all time. And then I also have Beautiful by Pentagon, which is it's, it's almost as good as Thank You, but like, Thank You, like, up here, and like, Beautiful, like, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say I love Pentagon just because of Thank You. Next, I have... Raiden and Chan Yuo. I'm definitely butchered that. I'm sorry. And yeah, this song is called Yours. I found this song on my Jackie Wong station on Apple Music. And with this song, I really like it. It's just a vibe. And yeah, it's a cool song. And moving on to another group. And I think this is like a K band. And it is the Rose. I really do enjoy the Rose. I like the Rose. They, they're a very, very like cool group. So shout out to Maya for introducing me to them. And I will say because of the couple songs, I will definitely have to put them in my top three Korean artists. Maybe even top four. I don't know. Um, but like I really do like them because like I think they all have unique voices. And like so I have Red by them and I have Sorry. Yeah, Sorry from the Rose is definitely one of my favorite Korean songs because that song is so good. Like I just love that song. It's like when he's singing like oh my god, that his voice in that song. I just love it. I, I love that song. Moving on to this is going to be a classic and it is replayed by Shiny and I just have no other words to say. It's just a classic. And next we have Stray Kids and I found them out for my friend Maya while we were watching Kingdom and I will say the reason why I got into them is because of the one performance 
performance that they had with like Deadpool and like Ryan, not Ryan Reynolds, but like Ryan Reynolds like reacted to it. It was like them doing like the Black Pink song, the do 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 song. I don't like the Black Pink version song of that because that song is ass from them in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of hate from that, but that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I have a right to say what I gotta say, and it's my opinion. But I will 100% argue that the Stray Kids version of that song is way better than the original. Y'all can cancel me for that, I don't care. I'm a, I said it, I said it. I want the smoke, I said it. I'm just kidding, I don't want, all the, I don't want any of the smoke. Um, I have Maya in the background like making faces like, oh, you fucked up. Um, but um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But yeah, moving on to the songs that I have from Stray Kids. Um, I have Chill from the newest album, Sorry I Love You in Awkward Silence. So yeah, shout out to Stray Kids. Um, next, I would say I would also have another classic Korean song, and this is Eyes, Nose, Lips by Taehyung. Um, it's just a, it's a good song. Like I ain't got nothing else to say. Like you know, I like it. I like it. All right, moving on to one of the first groups that I was introduced to that I really like, and so they're definitely at the top too. It's definitely gonna be TXT. Tomorrow by Together. I love TXT because they were one of the first groups that I was introduced to. I really do like TXT. Like the new album, for example, I have all of those songs downloaded. So from TXT, I got Love a Loser. Love that song. Opening sequence, Good Boy Gone Bad. When I first listened to that song, I didn't like it, but it, it was a song that grew on me. So the more I listened to it, the more I liked it. Um, and then I have Trust Fund Baby. And then I have my favorite song from the album is Lonely Boy. And the last song from the album, I have Thursday's Child Has Far To Go. So that whole album is a bop. And then of course I have Blue Hour. And then this is one of the songs that came out recently with Ian Dior and it's Valley of Lies. That song is a vibe. Like I was chilling at work and I work at H&M and this song comes on. I was like, what the fuck? Um, but it was after I heard about the song from my friend Maya because she's like, oh, look, he made a song with Ian Dior because I like Ian Dior. I have a couple songs from Ian Dior. And Maya was like, I know who Ian Dior is. TXT, Ian Dior collab. Oh. Um, so yeah. Shout out to TXT. And for my last artist, and I have no shame in saying this, it's definitely gonna be one of the most handsome guys from the whole Korean uh, K-pop scene or whatever, and that is my boy, Wan Ho. Like, that man's attractive. I wish I had his body, no cap. But with that being said, I have two songs from him, and that is Come Over Tonight and We Need. So I really like Wan Ho because I'm not gonna lie, when I see him, I'm like, damn, like, you just you see a strong buff dude and you don't expect him to sing like the way he sings so like i don't know that is i'm like shit he gives me goosebumps and shit but with that being said that is my korean playlist yeah my k-pop playlist and all that stuff and i know it's more than just k-pop those k-r&b k-band all that stuff basically is just my Korean playlist. And yeah, I would definitely say I have a whole bunch of different varieties. And I'm sorry if I butchered a lot of things. Um, and sorry for some of the stuff I said. But like I said, it's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Everyone has their own right to feel how they feel. And they have, and they have their own opinions about different things. But yeah, that is my Korean playlist. Let me know down below if you guys think I got a nice playlist or whatever. And let me know if y'all want to see another playlist with other music genres. Whether it's countries, throwback playlist, um, whatever playlist. Because like I said, my music taste is all over the place so with that said if there's any other korean song recommendations just let me know down below because i'm always down to listen to more music because i'm always down to find new good songs and plus there's probably so much more of the korean music industry and stuff like that that i don't know about and yeah overall i would just love to learn more about the korean music and stuff like that and with all that being said i have nothing else left for you guys so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe send your boys out